Let me take a look. It's military grade encryption. I think I can override it. Do religion and military always mix among Asari? No. This is unusual. Especially since few still follow the Athame doctrine. Easy experience. Something is wrong. Your scientist should be here. Take a look around. Maybe one of these artifacts is what we're looking for. <laughs> what are we looking at here? A primitive rendition of the goddess of Athame. She's speaking to her ancient Azari followers. I don't think this is the artifact. Do you notice how a thane looks Prothean? What? But that can't be. It is and it was. We were here in the beginning, watching you grow. A thane was us. Yeah, I was gonna say. Doesn't look useful. That's Janiri, a thane's guide who brought enlightenment to Thessia long ago. And you don't see the resemblance? He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. What about this one? A page from one of our earliest religious texts, the Athame Codex. I doubt this is it. It describes Lucen, Athame's guide who taught our ancestors about the stars. Your species was deemed to have potential. Pity you didn't live up to it. How about this? It's more from the Codex. Doesn't look promising. It describes how Athame taught our ancestors mathematics. Before that, you could only count as high as your toes. We took pity. For something as important as this artifact, there should have been fail-safes. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. That's a sculpture of Lucen, one of Athame's servants who walked among my ancestors, bestowing knowledge. He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. Oh well, yeah, we fucking get it. Another page from the Codex. Not very useful. It talks about a Thames guide granting us the gift of biotics as a reward for worshipping her. That gift involved years of genetic research. I... Uh, this is almost too much to take. It's the goddess of Thame again. You can still believe that, but it won't change the truth. I believe we are missing something. I'm guessing these are the scientists. Their throats. What happened to them? They've been slit. The Reapers didn't do this. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? It's a Thame. Her image became more like ours over time. You mean your ancestors tried to hide the truth? I'm still not willing to believe any of that's real. Then why does the fame speak Prothean? What do you mean? There is something here. I can sense it. In this temple? I admit it is strange this place has been so well preserved. Though a fame does have great historical significance, we once believed our gods were separate from the world, looking down on us. There's a Prothean beacon here. What? You're sure? It's not something you forget. But why hide it? The answer is obvious. Power and influence. Your people are holding the knowledge of my race for their own gain. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. A beacon like this could explain why Asari are so advanced. This temple is thousands of years old. Time enough to make serious progress. That doesn't make it true. You can't keep denying reality, Asari. Even a small amount of data would give your species an edge. Or are you insulted that your government didn't involve you? Well, I like how just Javik's never showing up. He's I think I think the cutscene put him slightly misaligned, so he just doesn't show up where they expect him to be. Nice fucking cutscenes. Leaving behind this sort of information was a mistake. 
We never really earned it. We just decoded it. No species has enough time to earn it. The Reapers always destroy them. Without our knowledge, you would have no hope of winning this war. If the wrong people had gotten their hands on this, who knows what could have happened? If it is true, I'd like to think my government was at least careful about it. But maybe too careful. No one's left to tell us how this works. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. I do. The activation process has begun. By the goddess. Literally. Look around. There must be more of these connections. Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharos years ago. Or it could be the Prothean standing next to you. It's gaining power. This isn't a connection. The end of the war is near. Find what we need, finish the crucible, and vengeance is complete. That isn't what we need. Doesn't look like a connection. I'd say that one counts. No connection here. There is nothing useful here. Uh, is there really anything more, though? I can't believe this whole temple is a front. Best place to hide a secret is out in the open. They've been extracting data from it for centuries. I never knew. Let's hope it doesn't take us as long. This doesn't appear to be a connection. We should keep searching. The activation is complete. We can access the beacon now. We need to hurry. This place isn't going to... ...last very long. Obtaining chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Post-Prothean cycle confirmed. One of our computers. Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction terminus. Systems shutting down. Hold on! We need answers. To what question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the crucible. A memory of one of my people. I am called Vendetta, an advanced virtual construct of Pasha Fan, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Tranvia 9. Your remaining time is also at an end. We're all Protheans so grim. What happened to the Crucible in your time? Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within. A splinter group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy them. It fractured our order of battle. Later we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. I always suspected as much. And now we're facing the same problem. Our studies of past ages led us to believe that time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond. The same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. The repetition is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps. Though I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern. They are not its master. So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic Annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. We haven't been annihilated yet. We're fighting the Reapers right now. As does every cycle. But resistance is not enough. Conventional means will not defeat the Reapers. We already know that. That's why we're building the Crucible. We found your plans. The Crucible is not a protein design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers. I know a thing or two about killing Reapers. Just tell us what the Catalyst is. Listen to the human. He can be trusted. I detect you are one of us. You are... <laughs> you can see he's not in the, the same last. place. I am the final hope to avenge our people. Your mission was known to me. Do you believe this present cycle can deliver retribution? 
They have earned the right to try. Tell us what we need to know. Very well. If you have followed the plans for the crucible, I will interface with your systems and assist with the catalyst to Indoctrinated presence detected. Activating security protocol. You. You killed the scientists. What do you want? Your attention. Someone would like to talk with you. Shepard. How did you find this place? The archives. Or did your shadow broker miss that one? Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. Stick to your talents, Dr. Dasani. You've helped uncover the key to subjugating the Reapers. Or destroying them. Damn it, Shepard. Destroying the Reapers gains us nothing. How about peace? They're just trying to control us. Think about it. If they wanted all organic life destroyed, they could do it. There would be nothing left. What the hell are you talking about? I know them, Shepard. I know how they think. I think you've gotten a little too close to the enemy. No. I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? The Reapers have it right? You're indoctrinated. You're doing just what they want. I could say the same of you. Wasting time in a war that can't be won. At least I'm fighting. Never question my ability to fight. I've been fighting them longer than you can imagine. And don't assume you know me. My methods for dealing with the Reapers are simply more refined than yours. I might have believed you once, but you've gone too far. Shepard, you're out of your depth. There are choices coming that you're not equipped to make. At least I'll be making them as a human being. You're just some Reaper puppet. No. There's a better way forward. Humanity can be so much more. I'm finishing the Crucible, and I'm sending the Reapers back to hell. I can't let you do that. Leng, the commander has something I need. Please relieve him of it, and then bring me the data. Understood. Uh, hello, Edgelord. Oh, there he's spinning. Oh, I'm glad he just announced that. Commander, the ghost ship. Get the cover. Yeah, we just hit him. No, we can just hit this guy. Because I'm in an angle where I can't be shot at, really. So all he's doing is like these twirling, because I just hit him in the testicle, though, thing, so. It's not going to be any uh, K Leg Juniors. Oh. The fuck is this fight? Fuck, I can't I can't use that. You had your fun now, Shepard. It's a pity that you would never last. There's only one way this ends. Thanks you for all your hard work.
This is Shepard. Give us your location. I repeat, is anyone on this frequency? We read you. Give me your location. The lieutenant's down. The whole zone is collapsing. What happened to Shepard? Did they make it Commander? Counselor. The mission. We've lost all contact with the staff. It's gone dark. How soon will the Crucible be ready to deploy? Counselor. I wish the news was better. We didn't get the information. What happened? Cerberus was there. We were... We were defeated. We don't know how to finish the Crucible. I... I don't know what to say. What was the situation on Cassia? Deteriorating fast. The Reapers are there in strength. Then you'll excuse me. There are... Preparations to make. Continuity of civilization to consider. I never thought this day would come. None of us did. I'm... Sorry. Did she just disconnect on me? That's my fucking trick. Asari forces are in full retreat. It is no longer safe for us to remain in this system. Get us out of here. Shepard. I... Nobody could have predicted Cerberus would reach Thessia before us. It's my job to be prepared, no matter what. I'm sick of Cerberus beating us to the punch. Let's kick them in the balls first for a change. I'm with James. Anyone know where they're hiding? Anyone? Um... Well, there is something. Let's hear it, trainer. I was able to track Kai Leng's shuttle through the relay and extrapolate his destination. But the signal disappeared in the Yera system. Naturally. It's not just gone, though. The signal is being actively blocked. How? I'm not sure, but something is interfering with all signal activity in that region of space. Commander, the Yara system is home to Sanctuary and little else. Sanctuary is a supposed safe haven for war refugees. You think it's worth checking out, trainer? Yes, sir. I do. If Specialist Trainer hadn't examined the data so astutely, the interference would have been undetectable. If that's where Kai Lang went, then that's where we're headed. I was stationed on Horizon in the Yera system. You were the only Cerberus presence while I was there. It's a slim lead. Let's hope it's the right one. I don't care how slim the leads are at this point. We've come too far to let Cerberus stop us. I want that Prothean data. I want the catalyst. No excuses. Dismissed. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Oh god, he's not gonna be happy. Shepard, I heard about Thessia. We were so close, Anderson. So damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I knew going in what the Reapers were capable of. But I also knew what I was capable of. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. 
So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none. But we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here. And it's looking like I might die here too. So I say point us at the Reapers and we'll take our chances. I'm not willing to bank this whole war on a hope and a prayer. Well, truth is, we could use a bit of both right now. Shake this off, Shepard. I will. Addison out. Well, dear old Anderson. I don't think we have anything else here. The Elkor Flotilla. I don't know why the Citadel Defense Force keeps changing. Well, sorry, you're fucked. Rip a sorry forever. I kind of just keep giving me a little bit of funding. Not after we took down that Reaper on Rack. I don't know. Yeah, but there's no way we could have stopped every Reaper on Cessia. The Asari should have jumped into earlier. Dude, my fucking neck. What the fuck was causing that? Holy shit. I found like this 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 angle because I was trying to move up and then he wasn't able to move Commander, up. Cerberus has attacked a com facility on Onteron. I've updated the galaxy map. Thanks for listening, Commander. It was a good idea, and right now it's the best lead we've got. In any event, good luck, Commander. Yeah, I don't even know why she hesitated to even tell us that to begin with. I mean, it <clears throat> that's a pretty good lead in any fucking like. Thing like, what the fuck? Like, it's really now the time to be shy. Oh, I don't know about this. We saw where he went. <laughs> we don't finish that crucible soon. There won't be a galaxy left to save. So Thessia, huh? I guess the Asari are wishing they had fewer dancers and more commandos right about now. Too soon. You're a damn good pilot, Joker. And I put up with a lot because of that. But we're in the middle of a war. You see this? Tip tree. Little colony out in the ass end of nowhere. My dad lives there. So does my sister. Reapers rolled in about two weeks ago. So you can assume that I'm generally aware there's a war on Commander. So why the jokes? Because Edie says that according to your armor's metabolic scans, you're under more stress now than during the Skillian Blitz. Like, more than Torfan, where you put your whole damn squad through a meat grinder. And the last time I had a briefing with Anderson, he told me to take care of you. The guy leading the resistance on Earth is worried about you. And I'm supposed to help. When I want a damn pep talk, I'll ask for one. Otherwise, you're my pilot, not my therapist. Are we clear? Yes, Commander. Commander? Shepard, I have a question about human behavior. This isn't the best time, Edie. Perhaps humor? A penguin is driving through the Arizona desert. I'm not in the mood. A lively rendition of La Marseillaise? No. Very well. I will maintain a respectful silence until you indicate otherwise. Hello, Shepard. All right. A respectful silence. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Ah, uh, okay. Lee Riley. My continue to my squad continues to defend the fuel reactor. Reaper's intent on taking it down on my watch. Alright, and Thessia is now evacuating. Wait. So you survived our fight on Thessia. Wait, this is fucking Kay Lang or whatever. What the fuck? Good, you open this message. This isn't actually a sorry military command. <laughs> what? Dude, what, what a fucking dick. Why, why does he even send me these kinds of messages? Good, he sent you open the email. So you survived our fight on Thess here, not as weak as I thought. You're not good enough to best me. What the f- like what? Dude, I would do that though. I, I'm not even gonna lie. 
Dude, that, that's probably what Renegade Ship does all the time. Just fucking goes into his quarters and goes like, 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 it goes like from from Earth Earth Defense Command to Cerberus to the elusive man. Good, you opened the email. You're a fucking dickhead. I wish I'd never worked with you in Mass Effect 2. Shepard, this wasn't your fault. It's not about fault. I was supposed to stop them. You will. I don't know if I can do this, Tally. Earth, Palavin, Thessia. I'm risking everything to build the Crucible, and I'm not even sure what it does. Who am I to make that call? You are the one who was right all along. You fought when no one else would. When nobody else believed you. You can do this. I know you can. Thanks, Shepard. Thanks, Shepard. You know, this game is trying to make me feel bad about the situation, but I had that fucking retarded ass fight with Kay Lang, and then, like, it just kind of ended in a cutscene. So, like, why would I feel bad at all that I failed? Because, like, we were kicking his ass. Like, I was just standing there in the open, just, like, fucking just shooting him in the face, and then, like,. Then the game just goes to cuts. He's like, "Whoops, nope, you lost." Sorry, but cutscene Shepard is as good as you. Hey, Ashley, what the fuck's up? I'm sorry, Shepard. You all right? I really don't feel I'm bad. Fine. Liara. I don't know. Okay, I'll talk to her. Thanks. This isn't something she should deal with by herself. Same goes for you. Sure. I guess we know what Liara's going through. Just thinking about Earth, you know? What a waste. Shepard? What a waste? Dude, how's that even, like, put into the situation? And all these characters are like, yeah, you feel bad, don't you, about failing. How are you, Commander? Good. How are you, Commander? Very good. All right. Dr. Tassoni has gone to speak with the Prothean. Alright, cool. Don't tell me about the Caden Terminal. I swear to God. Okay, good. That was a close one. Might have gotten Caden in there. Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. We'll take every scrap of good news we can get. Wish I had more, though. Why? I just had to make a tough call with the Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. If it means anything, I would have given the Primarch the same advice. Yeah. There's that ruthless calculus again. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. It's nothing I haven't seen before. True, but not like this. It's sovereign times a thousand. We won then. We'll win now. Not something you can ever get used to. Seeing the world go down like that. Thousands of years of civilization on fire. But it wasn't your fault. Thessia was already gone by the time we got there. And maybe the elusive man did win one, but so what? I've lost a few fights in my time, and I'm still here. It's because I always made you a war. A battle doesn't make a war, Shepard. We're still in this. By the way, I didn't press anything. It just cancelled that dialogue on its own. Have you checked on Liara? She must be devastated. That's not something you ever forget. Shepard, this is when you take all your anger and frustration, bottle it up, then use it to rearrange every molecule in Kai Lang's body. You'll get your chance. I mean, I was already doing that. How's it going? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> oh, I, I like her talks. <laughs> How's it going? Uh... I'm so glad that like, there's an entire deck we can skip. Like that's, that's incredible. So I hear the elusive man drinks bourbon. It all makes sense now. What do you mean? You love whiskey? Hey, Scotch, my dear girl. 
That scanner drinks American bourbon. Completely different. He's a psychotic megalomaniac, and you've got problems with his choice of liquor? You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Ely scotch. My board is green. Shepard. Nothing to report, Commander. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Talia was on the second, uh, the other floor. I forgot about that. Still, I, I do agree. The, uh, the Samantha's fine taste. Those were all lies back there. They were not. My people weren't animals for your kind to experiment on. You wanted to know more about your history, Asari. Now you do. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni. And I'd appreciate you using it from now on. No. You're not worth it. There's been enough death today. She's having a bad day. We all are. It will get worse. There is no time to coddle the feelings of a depressed Asari. We recover from this defeat, or we die. It was good to see another of my kind, even if he was just a ghost. One more Prothean fights the Reapers. If there is to be victory in this war, it will be for all cycles. The living will avenge the dead. And do not concern yourself with Thessia's fate, Commander. The loss of a planet is insignificant next to the loss of the galaxy. I suffered many defeats in the last war, Commander. Let this loss be the fuel that powers your rage. Your Liara Asari asks many questions. You would think she'd never seen a Prothean before. I am with my own thoughts. I am with my own thoughts. Alright, well I guess we didn't really get to talk to Liara. Fucking awkward. Alright, on to the crew deck. She went straight to her cabin, she's not answering her comm. I've never seen Liara like this. Not even after Nalveria. Damn. Can you talk to her? You've known her as long as any of us. And with Palavan. I'm just another damn reminder of how many people are dying. You should talk to her. I just regained my homeworld. She just lost hers. Well, I don't have any magic words. She needs time. Maybe call her later. She went straight to her cabin. She's not answering her calm. I'll go talk to Liara. Good. When she went by, she just really needs you right now. Well, that's what I'm here for. Renegade ship to save the day, to be shoulder to cry on. I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier... You would have needed Shepard's cipher to comprehend it. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy's most important archaeological find from me. It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Prothean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps. Thank you, Edie. I hadn't considered that. How did this happen, Shepard? My entire civilization. The Asari's history. The Protheans made it a lie all along. And I abandoned my people to hunt for the Catalyst. You'd never do that. They're dying by the millions. I told those people on Thessia we'd save them. How many Asari died because I demanded their help? You couldn't have saved them, Liara. Even if we got there before Cerberus. Blaming yourself won't help anyone. Especially you. You're right. I know. I just wish there were something I could do to help right now. I know. Oh, uh, you're fine? The Council should have evacuated Thessia earlier. Amazing noises. A new no! Is 
No, there's nothing on the private ship. There's nothing on the Caden terminal. What the fuck are you talking about? Alright. Well, I think we're good. So. You're good, right? Yeah, you're good. Alright. Uh, well, let's, uh, fuck off. So, bye.